Avoiding the genie in the bottle when it comes to Philippines expats. The genie in the bottle is basically what happens when an expat is perfectly fine like this, been on the old pop all day, and then gets home and gets gets busy on the internet on the keyboard. The genie in the bottle is the fact that once they've been drinking, they're argumentative. <laughs> uh, it, it just makes them incoherent, argumentative, and often extremely opinionated. It's it's interesting because I, I know some people may find I just cut them off if they annoy me, it, but they're not actually annoying me. They think they're annoying me. What it is is I see there's no surpass in some of their thinking, so I'm just like, okay, fine, because quite simply, I don't have time for people wasting my time. Um, I'm quite happy to engage with people that are offering something of value or want to know something of value or quite happily developing things with different people and engaging with people. I spend a lot of time answering up to about 150 emails a day. So the reality is I invest a lot of time in this. And here's the magic word. It's for free. So when you get somebody that's giving all this and whining about it, I don't care. Um, it's not me really being negative. It's the fact is you have problems with your own life. Um, I'm not bringing them into mine. If you dislike people from other races and whatever, keep that to yourself. Um, because unlike a lot of the people that do have these issues, I have travelled other parts of the world that they detest these people from. Um, but often the politics is so bizarre. It's, it's hypocritical. Um, I'm trying not to say any of them. But for example, we want our country back. And where do you live? In someone else's country. These sort of things just don't make any sense. And that's why I simply say, look, do whatever you want. I don't want to know. <laughs> just go ahead and do it. But this is where the old genie in the bottle gets comes in because they'll have something that's bugged them during the day and then they'll get on the internet at night and start ranting about this, ranting about that. And basically, I'm not being helpful to anybody. They're just venting. But a lot of the venting is not constructive. It's not like saying, I went to LTO today and the guy was demanding I give him money before he gave me my driving license, blah, blah, blah. Which you turn around and say, okay, well, how did you deal with it? Well, I basically told him no and told him I would complain and they just gave me my license anyway. That would actually be something to say, look, be aware that these guys might rip you off or try to. Not saying they would, but that was that was just an example off the top of my head. But these guys will often go with things like LTO or just criminals that try to rob you, blah, blah, blah. There's no context. There's nothing there. They're not trying to tell you to be careful or whatever. They're telling you that in their opinion that they're all thieves, etc. No use to anybody whatsoever. And that's why I quite simply say, avoid the genie in the bottle. It's not helping anybody. Thanks for watching.